Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect an M2 NVMe SSD to your old computer using a PCIe adapter. So here, for example, I already have a 2TB M2 hard disk installed in my computer and we will be installing an additional M2 hard disk using this PCI adapter. So let's get started. So this is the M2 PCIe adapter that I got from Amazon and price wise it's very cheap but you know the build quality is quite amazing and I think it will definitely last long. So on this adapter the M2 hard disk will set and then we can install it in the cabinet. Along with that you get this uh, the screwdriver and a thermal pad and also this screw and nut using which you know you can assemble this and also add some thermal insulation while installing this into your motherboard. So let's see how this entire process is done. Now for our example here I'll be using my 500 GB m2 hard disk that i've got here so this is from one of my old laptops and on this adapter there's a similar m2 notch that you have on your you know on your motherboards so you just basically need to place it in here and push it in the notches that are available on the adapter and many many people are doing this wrong because you know they are adding the thermal pad on top of the m2 hard disk but it actually needs to sit between the m2 hard disk and the adapter so i've seen many people do it wrong so let's see how you know the correct way of doing it so what i'm gonna do here is first stick the thermal insulation pad on the m2 hard disk and uh, for doing this you know this pad has plastic on both the sides one side you can take it off and stick it on the m2 hard disk and uh, you know pull pull the remaining plastic off and then we need to place this on the adapter and uh, press it firmly so that you know this thermal thermal pad sticks properly on the adapter and lastly once that is done we will have to use the screw and nut attachment to make sure that the m2 hard disk is secure on the adapter so let's quickly do that so you just need to place the screw and the nut on this M2 adapter and then tighten it up so that you know the hard disk is tight and secure. And now comes the final bit which is to attach this on the motherboard and since it is light in weight there is no need to you know have any clamping mechanism it will just fit like a regular ram strip and you can snap the lock in to make it secure. So that's it for the installation part. Now, when I go to my BIOS and check my NVMe configuration, uh, this is fine if it's not there in your old motherboards, but under this, I'll be able to see my new hard disk along with the 2TB one. So this confirms that the installation is done and you know, you can use this as any other regular M2 hard disk. So that's it for this one guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about it, you can leave those in the comment section below and I'll answer them as soon as possible. So thank you for watching this video and do subscribe to my channel.